he's gonna try to spool us, man. Come on, come on, come on. Work it. Woo, look at that, baby. A little bit bigger, that would have been right. there. Yum! <laughs> Just oh yeah, he's got some good muscle on him. Yeah. Let him go, we got open water. And I even sucked on the eyeballs. What's up guys, welcome to CEO Fishing and this is another episode of Angler Spotlight. Today I'm fishing with Chad from Chad Gone Fishing. I'll have all his information in the description below. But first I want to say congrats to Johan Centron. You are the winner of the tackle box, the CEO Fishing tackle box from the last video. You got all the trivia questions right. And today I'm also giving away another tackle box with the lures. So if you want to win this CEO Fishing tackle box with the Atco lure, Answer all the questions at the end of this video. Comment the answers below. Make sure you subscribe to Chad Gone Fishing, and uh, I'll announce the winner in the next video. <laughs> yeah. All you can do right here is wait, guys. There's nothing you can do. He's the bully. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm going to have to try to stop this fish. He's going to give me on the other side of those pilings. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Chad here. So check it out. What got me into fishing? Let's see. So a good friend of mine, his dad, he was an avid fisherman. I knew nothing about fishing. It was probably like 12 years old. He gave me my first rod and reel. I'm not exactly sure what the brand was. And from there, I was hooked. I used to fish 300 days a year right at the canal. And that canal has brackish water. So I was catching small snook, peacock bass, large mouths. And ever since then, I've been hooked. Heavy as hell, I like the way that sounds. So at a young age, you got hooked on fishing. What is it that kept you hooked on it for all this time? So it first started out as an outlet just to get away from everything, all of the problems that I was going through in life. And then I just fell in love with the peace, just being out there absorbing the energy of the environment, you know, the birds, just it being very calm. And all of my problems went away fishing, whether I caught something or not. Um, and then it just evolved into a love and now I have a passion for it. So it's great. I love it You had mentioned that fishing is kind of a getaway for you, you know stress relief. Could you kind of elaborate on that a little bit more? Absolutely, so even now I'm 34 years of old uh, 30 So old you can't even remember <laughs> <laughs> Even now I'm 34 years old um, I still see aspects of fishing being used therapeutically just for me personally. That's how you catch a fish. Come on, baby. Take a line against the current. So, baby, the current is moving that way. The fish is still running strong that way. Oh my goodness. Ah! A lot of the times when I go fishing alone, what that's done for me is be able to get back into society and be able to focus on things that I really have to do. You know, I've been in the Marine Corps probably about 11, close to 12 years. Um, places I've been stationed, I didn't have time to fish, or I didn't, there, were, there was no fish. So now that I'm back home, I'm able to just go crazy fishing and, you know, kind of make up for those lost times. I just want to get back out there. Every time I'm working, I'm thinking about it, and it's what it's all about. 
Uh, and you had mentioned getting back into society. So there is a transition coming from the Marine Corps and coming back to like just regular style living? Yeah, so for me, I ended active duty on June 30th and then I transitioned to being a reservist July 1st. So I'm not going every single day like I did when I was active duty. Just helping with that transition, I always use fishing. Fishing is always just that, um, that catalyst in my life that I just have to use just for any transition, relationally, personally, even work-wise. So I use fishing for everything. It's insane how it works. Even the groceries. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> That's a beautiful fish. It's a beauty. Oh, oh. tarpon, 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 tarpon. Oh, tarpon, look at that. Yeah. Oh, that's a big one, buddy. No, it's a baby, but it's pretty, though. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Light tackle, light tackle. Hey, I think it's going to be angular like you. Oh, yeah. You're, you're the angler. <laughs> the 4500, dude? Come on. That's the best, man. Watch the lines, watch the line. Oh! Angler spotlight, how to lose a tarpon. <laughs> when I was fishing with you the other day, I noticed that you had some, some buddies with you and stuff. Do you always bring someone different or it's the same fishing buddies all the time? Well, you know I have to bring somebody with me to help me net those fish, you know? <laughs> so gotta help. No. Gotta help put in that work. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. You wanna go get the net? No, so you know, a lot of people reach out, you know, they are just regular fishermen, just like me, and like, hey, I wanna see if I can catch something big from the bridge. I don't have access to a boat, so I'm like, come with me. We can, I can put you on them. Oh, Goliath, Goliath! Goliath, baby! Goliath! Oh my goodness! Goliath! Oh, uh, right here, right here on this side. On this side, thank you, sir. Goliath! Look at that thing, man. Stay where you are, stay where you are. Stay where you are. Yeah! Got him! Oh. Goliath! <laughs> yeah! Look at that thing, guys! Holy crap! Another one, baby! <laughs> nice! <laughs> hey, I gotta catch something finally! <laughs> I'm gonna get my butt whooped today! This one stayed on! That one stayed on, baby! It was well worth it, though. Woo! <laughs> We gotta let him go. Here it goes, check it out. <laughs> Safe release. Safe release, here it goes. Woo! There it goes. Safe release, guys. That's how we're doing it today. That's the right way. Boom! Woo! Make sure you guys check out Chag on Fishing, all one word on YouTube. I just want to have the most relatable fishing channel in South Florida, period. That regular guy that goes out, fishes from land, I want people to know that you don't have to go on a boat to catch extremely large fish, pelagic fish even pass through, some of the big reef fish, so um, that's what you'll see on my channel. And uh, hopefully I can bring more people that don't even have experience to fishing into it. There you go, baby. Yeah, buddy. Come on. Nice and smooth. I'm starting a new series called Marine Gone Fishing. I'm going to be taking Marines out, uh, some that have uh, combat experience, some that do not. It doesn't matter as long as they wore that uniform. I want to be able to take them out and have that experience of fishing because it changed me. All right, so definitely check out his channel, man, because it's just. It's about the love of fishing, man. This guy is super passionate. Like, if you see him on the bridge, he's like sprinting one way, sprinting back the other way, got 152 rods out, and he's checking every one, just like nonstop, just like smiling his face the whole time, just whoop, got a rod moving over here. And losing fish, too. Well, yeah, we lost a couple fish, too, you know? Couple pounds of groceries, but it's all good, because you saw in the beginning of the video that Goliath, you didn't let that one go, and that was a Not pretty. That was that was a great fish right there. So, like, so on the shot. I, ah! <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I've been following your Instagram. I've been keeping tabs on your YouTube as well. So, guys, make sure you follow him and right. subscribe. Like I said, all the information is in the description below. Make sure you uh, show some love. 
the dudes out here protecting the country and That's stuff. Right. So you gotta you gotta help them out, man. Give them them views. I'm trying to but, show Marines can fish too. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's Cause right. he he taught me some stuff the other day. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to start incorporating it's his that. Turn next time. Oh yeah, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna hook up. After seeing all these fish that you've caught, what is like the best memory of a fish that you have? What's your favorite one that stands out? So my favorite one is my very first keeper mutton snapper after they changed it to from 16 to 18 inches. Um, and I was using a small pinfish that I got, um, threw them out, and you know, I wasn't expecting anything. And all of a sudden that rod was, you know, I ran to That's it, the best sound. started fighting it. And all of a sudden I seen this freaking five pound snapper and I just couldn't believe it. Um, yeah, I've caught bigger fish. Yeah, I've caught more prestigious fish from the bridge, but that memory alone stands out and then it just changed everything for me. Let me ask you a question about that mutton though. <coughs> was it delicious? It was amazing and it, I ate the whole thing, the freaking cheeks, the meat in the top of his head, and I even sucked on the eyeballs. And nothing goes to I waste. I am not playing out here. <laughs> hey, that's one of the best fish you can pull out of the ocean, man. Those things are absolutely delicious. You know, people would destroy me and my family if they found out that I filleted a snapper. Like, how dare you? So, you know, I got to keep it, I, you know, no matter what I catch, even 10 years later, I got to still make sure for snapper, I got to still eat them whole because I don't want to get crucified when I get back home. So. <laughs> Tradition. That's right. The mutton is your favorite memory, one of your best memories, and you like them because you can actually catch them from a, the bridge catch keepers from the bridge, which a lot of people think you gotta be out in a boat for that. You have people, a lot of people think that. All right, so we got the snapper, but what's, what's, that, that, what's that one fish out there that you, once you get it, it's just gonna be like, your life is gonna be So be I, I have to give me a freaking permit. I got one earlier this year and it's almost like it was a fluke. So you guys are gonna have to see. Are you look, trying to say you wanna do it on purpose this time? Yeah, so it's, it's, it's not gonna be a fluke. <laughs> It has to happen, it's happening in October. I said it first right here that a permit is happening. Hopefully it happens tomorrow. But I'm getting one, not one, not two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ah, Shaquille, man. Yeah. So it's happening and that's gonna be no, the hardest fighting Shaquille. fish. Huh? That was uh, LeBron. Yeah, LeBron. that was LeBron. <laughs> Look, I got my <laughs> Miami, <laughs> my Miami <laughs> Heat ears. Well, technically. Yeah. <laughs> if it ain't raining, we ain't training, baby. Nah, but hey, if you want to see those permit though, again, check out his channel. Make sure it's dope. Chad gone fishing, all one word. Put it all together, and you'll see. I've caught tarpon. I've caught the huge hogfish. I've got cobia. Everything on these freaking bridges that people are just passing by, like, oh, look at those people. And as you see me out there, you're probably laughing at me driving by, and I'm over there loading up the cooler. So make sure you guys check it out. Chad got him fishing. That's right. Yeah. All right, guys, so this is a big thing that Brian has put together, um, taking uh, taking his time out doing this. Uh, this uh... <laughs> you acting like me now. <laughs> Called the angler support before. <laughs> angler support. Right, it's angler spotlight. Can I, right. can I hold your bucket and carry your rods for you? <laughs> angler support. Yeah. Welcome to the show, guys. <laughs> no, uh, angler spotlight. Angler spotlight, that's right. <laughs> All right, so guys, this thing is really huge that um, Brian has put together called Angler Spotlight. You guys have to tune in. He's really passionate about it, and this is real selfless what he's doing. He's getting nothing out of it, and he's just putting other people on the map, just showing that there's a lot of talented anglers out there, and he just want everyone to be known. So make sure you check out the whole series, start back from the beginning all the way to this thing end, because this is huge. And I want to thank him again for doing this interview and also going out fishing because we had a blast and this is just the beginning of something big. So thanks again. That was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't have to pay him to say that. I didn't have to pay him to say that either. <laughs> All right, guys, it's trivia time. If you want to win the CEO Fish and Tackle Box and the Atco Lure, just got to answer the following questions. Oh, you haul. Somebody's moving in the neighborhood. All you gotta do to win the tackle box and the lure is to answer these following questions. Trivia question number one, what is Chad's YouTube channel? And you better be subscribed to it. Trivia question number two, what is Chad's favorite fish to catch? And trivia question number three, 
other than the snapper, what other fish did Chad catch off the bridge the other day? So guys, comment your answers below. I'll pick one lucky winner to be shouted out in the next video. And I will also send out the tackle box and the lures. Make sure you subscribe to make sure that notification bell is on. And until next time, head up, keep moving forward, and tight lines. See you next time, guys. With a passion, they say I be swagging and slaying in fashion. Feel like King Arthur, I just laid a dragon. My jig on the bottom, I ain't even snagging. Slay like a savage, we're slicking the best.